Question 3 of this exercise says, find the probability of the pointer stopping on D in question 1A, probability of getting an ace from a well-shuffled deck of 52 playing cards, probability of getting a red apple. So, let's start doing this question. As we know that probability of an event to happen is basically number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So let's start with the A part, probability of the pointer is stopping on D. So as we can see, there is one D only. So the number of favorable outcome is basically one. And we have to find the total number of outcomes. So the total number of outcomes will be one, two, three, four, five. So it is basically one by five. Now let's have a look into the B part of this question. Probability of getting an A's from a well shuffled deck of 52 playing cards. So as we know that there are four A's, so it will be four divided by the total number of cards, which is 52. And on simplifying them, we will get one over 13. Now let's move on to the C part, probability of getting a red apple. So let's count how many red apples are there. One, two, three, four. So the number of favorable outcome is basically four divided by the total number of outcomes. So we need to find the total number of apples. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it is four over seven. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.